Hey folks, how you doing? Leducium here, continuing to play XCOM Enemy Unknown. And, uh, yeah, I forget where I left off, but we do have a crash GFO in Canada. Nothing new, right? So anyways, let's go to Canada, and let's send our Sky Ranger there. And the big question now becomes, who are we going to send? Um, so we've got quite a team here, it's all, um, veterans. I'm going to take out one of our snipers here, and maybe I'll take out one of our support here, or maybe one of our heavies. Let's take out our support, and we'll put in some new units. We will put in Shad, Sa Syed, Saeed, yeah, Saeed, seems like the right way to pronounce that. Uh, and we'll go give you a... Um, not an arc thrower. I was going to give you a vest. Damn it! I have to unequip stuff from people first. So Alice, edit unit, load out, give that back. Claire unit. Um, Saeed, where are you? There we go. Edit unit, load out. We are gonna go and give you a nanofiber vest. That way you can live. Um, I'm going to throw another unit in here. Somebody who is also brand new, Oliver Walker. Seems good. Oliver Walker? I hardly know her. Huh? Huh? Nah. Anyways, <laughs> edit units. I'm going to go take the take your nanofiber vest and give you an arc thrower and hope you live. Uh, but the idea is going to be that we try to capture this outsider alien. And you, Mr. Walker, I'm going to give you a nanofiber vest. Maybe I should have somebody with a grenade, I don't know, but the heavies do have rocket launchers, so I feel like the rocket launchers will do most of the work for me, if I can actually get them to, to fire, so. And I have to not be shy about using the rocket launcher, um, I think. Alright, let's give this a shot. We're gonna begin the assault. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. So we're gonna locate the crash UFO, like sweep the, the area, avoid additional damage there to craft if possible. The area. I hope they stay clear. Same old story, morning glory. Uh, but the difference is we're gonna to try to capture one of these SOBs this time around. So let's rotate ourselves so we're facing in the general direction of where we want to go. Which I'm guessing is that way. Um, I hate how there is no cover, so everyone just kind of dash to a cover spot to start off with. And maybe Overwatch. I don't know, or hunker down, do something. <laughs> You're the sniper. And you can't. My other sniper can actually move and shoot now, with a penalty granted, but still, it's better than, than not being able to move and shoot. So everyone's kind of just uh, running up here, and this guy is one of my heavies. I'm gonna run up here, Overwatch, and this guy is one of the rookies, Walker. He's gonna run up here, and also probably not be able to do anything. Well, we hear something, but we don't see anything. Uh, this one, that would be a dash. That stinks. In fact, why is everything just getting up here as an action? So I basically have to dash this unit. Can I dash you up here? This is cover. The problem is I don't know where the aliens are. Okay, we'll leave you where you are for now. Same with you. You know what? One of my rookies, you're going to dash up here. Or not even dash, you're just going to run up here. And go ahead and hunker down. And we'll see if we can draw out some aliens. You can overwatch for now. If you can get up here without it being a uh, huge laborious effort, then great. But if not, I'd rather you guys overwatch. So this is half cover. It's not cover at all. Okay, so come up here and hunker down. That's the sniper as well, which kind of stinks. You can actually come up here 
and not have it be an effort. So you can hunker down and Chang, uh, why don't you come up here for now? I don't want to pop a wave yet. Well, I have so many units that um, might not be able to do anything. So let's come up here. Just a little ways. And overwatch. And let's see if any aliens show up, but I doubt it. They seem to wait for me to actually find them first, so. Oh, they're in this direction. You hear that? That does change things a bit. So now let's face this way. Um, okay, there's parts of an alien ship. Uh, that's good and bad, but that also means I at least know which way I should be facing. So that's a dash. You're all the way back here. You don't have anywhere good where I can actually put you that's not a dash. So you know what? Let's screw it. Let's go ahead and dash you all the way there. You've got the arc thrower. Um, Jackson's going to come up here. We'll get the high ground uh, and hunker down for now. That's the sniper. Everybody else kind of move in this general direction. Hunker down for now. You can move up here and probably overwatch. Oh man, um, that's not good cover, is it? That's not cover at all. In fact, I don't see great cover in this direction. There's <laughs> just this tree. That's a dash. So let's just move you up here too. Everyone's kind of getting behind this tree not the best way to be because now my whole squad basically is behind this one not even a tree it's it's a log at this point I think it has to be alive in order for it to be considered a tree so all right you are my scout slash arc thrower but you're gonna run up here and see if we trigger anything well we didn't trigger anything I do see the ship I do see fire we have noise coming from that direction, but I don't see any actual aliens. That's either really good or really bad. Let's hunker down. Sniper, you're going to overwatch. So I've got you at, at a nice elevation. Uh, you know what, you, I'm going to dash over there. It's kind of out of the way, but if I can get some fire and sight from another direction, that might not be a terrible idea. Uh, Chang, can I dash over here? I could, but that seems like a bad idea. i put you over here. Maybe I can put you behind one of these rocks in the following turn. So, we'll go ahead and hunker down. You are going to come up just one square and overwatch just to cover people. And you know what? I'm going to have you dash up here as well in the hopes that we can support that side. Those are both my rookies, I believe, over there. Why, oh, that's fine. Okay, so aliens straight what ahead. That sound? Come on. Show yourselves. Yeah. Bastards. Okay. Nobody's showing themselves. Um. Let's move up to this tree. That's some form of cover. And we can overwatch. Hopefully not get shot. Um, I mean, not great cover with the rocks here. I'm going to move up to these rocks. And let's hunker down because that's half cover. The tree is at least full cover, so I felt a little bit better about that. Uh, this is full cover from at least a direction. So we can come up there and that's a dash. Sniper will come back to. Ching is going to move up to this log. And maybe overwatch. He's got a lot of HP so I feel okay setting to overwatch. You can join her up here. And I'm going to take this turn to have the sniper overwatch again. Just in case anything decides to actually come at me. 
but chances are they won't. Chances are they'll just keep making noise. So what I'm actually going to do, because we are not on the timer and we have turns, so I should be patient, is I'm actually going to dash my sniper up here. I'm going to move this guy a little bit, maybe to here, and hunker down. And then I'm going to take the opportunity to dash my sniper to get some cover slash higher ground. And I'm making her face towards the ship. I don't know if that's the best idea, but um, everyone else for now overwatch. And I think if I do Alt and O, no, Control and O, no. I don't know how to make everyone overwatch, so we'll just individually hit overwatch. Alright, so... Okay, now they're in this direction. Basically they're in the ship, is what you're telling me. Oh no, now they're over there. Uh, the good news is, we have some overwatches that should fire. The bad news is, we seem to be missing every single one of them. There's a lot of movement going on. Where are you even firing? So we've got sectoids, we've got uh, actual floaters. A lot, a lot's happening. Uh, do we have shots? That's the other big thing. You have a shot. 45% chance. Okay, we'll come back to you. You are being flanked, which is not great. If you have a decent shot, uh, you could probably I will take this opportunity, even though I want to capture him alive. If I can fire a rocket into here and just kill these guys, that'll make my life a lot easier. Will this work? 90. Well, you gotta line it up just right. So, let's move things around. 90, I think that will... I might get all three, might only get two. Let's find out. I might have to move some people to get a shot on that other floater. Nope, got all three, perfect. Fantastic. So one rocket killed all three floaters. Not capturing them, obviously, this turn. Because they're all dead. But, gets them out of being flanked. Makes my life a little bit easier breaks the game, apparently. Come on. Okay, and just move the camera. The game's still there. Good. Uh, you can then... Uh, I guess you're done. Uh, that was your turn. Um, you can come up here and have a shot, maybe. No. So hunker down. You. Get behind this rock. Still no shot. Go ahead and hunker down. You're going to get behind this thing and hunker down for now. Um, you're my sniper, so I'm going to actually have you overwatch in case somebody moves. And you can hunker down. So let's see if those sectoids decide to actually pop their heads. So there's the overwatch from the sniper. It's going to miss, I'm sure, because my snipers are always terrible. Yaha! See? If you set low expectations, he will not be disappointed. And I'm gonna shoot at him, and unfortunately, I actually hit him, which kind of stinks. He's not hunkering down. That's probably why. But he's got a lot of HP. So hopefully, that one's gonna miss. Good. All right. So now we do have some shots. So let's find out who's got shots and what they're like. 45, 45. Let's take a look at the sniper. Sniper's got 64 and 64 on both of them. Let's take a 64% chance. And hopefully this one should hit. Kill cam. Work. Yes. Okay. That one's down. Um, rest of you. I would like to kill that. I would also like to capture it. But I think... This, I have no idea what's in the ship. I know at least one outsider's in there. 
In fact, I'd prefer to capture the outsider over trying to capture these guys. So let's forget about capturing them. Let's kill them, which, well, I already did, so it's a little too late. Um, and then we are going to move on with our lives. Uh, you can get over here to half cover and hunker down. You need better cover. I'm going to move you to this tree and have you hunker down for now because you've already taken some damage this go around which means you probably won't be eligible for the next mission which is fine I really need to start using different people I can't keep using the same person over and over can I actually get in there I could dash in there but we're gonna be a little bit more careful we're gonna move you up so I can move the other alien units. The computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Okay. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. So basically no grenades. Got it. Or rockets. Uh, let's hunker down. Uh, sniper. I'm gonna move you up here. Well, you're not gonna be very useful up there. Hate to do it. But we're gonna dash you over here. Um, you can hunker down. You can hunker down. You can move up here. And maybe we'll set one person to overwatch and you can try to dash up here next to this guy. Or as far as you can go, basically. So you can rejoin the rest of the team. Good. Alright. Anything? No. So they're not doing anything right now, which is a good thing. Eventually I do want to get into this ship, but the problem is this is just kind of all open area and I don't want to. Uh, that's okay. These are all dashes. I don't like it. Chang, where can I dash you to? I'm gonna dash you over here. Kind of, we're gonna go around through this side. Is this wall broken? Because maybe we can use this. No, this is, wall is not broken. It could be broken. Um, we could break it probably, but we're not gonna. Um, walker. So we're gonna line up here so that way, that way we can come in through the side and maybe our sniper can actually offer support. Uh, I don't have a good place to dash you. So we're gonna wait on you. You I'm gonna leave as well. You I can dash Actually, you, I could just move over here and you'll still be able to have a shot. Just in case. Uh, and then you, I'm going to dash over. And I really should have you reload. Um, walker, walker, walker. Really still don't have a good spot for you. So you know what? Dash over here so you, you do have a slightly better spot on the next turn. Uh, you can stay... Hunker down, and Melissa Jackson, our sniper, is going to hunker down. Nothing from the aliens yet. Okay, you know what? Obviously they're in the ship. If I had a kick-ass spaceship like this, I'd stay in there too. I'm going to take another turn to hunker down on units that can, and reload on some of the other units that can't lower watch with you just in case although I don't think it's a great idea I'm gonna reload with Chang here reload with you let's reload with you that makes sure that when we do get in there we don't have to worry about having to reload okay now this is where it gets interesting uh, so we can see the inside of the ship and so far no aliens but I am sure as soon as I get in there, there's going to be aliens. That is at least, I didn't realize, but we have that cover. So we can get in there and hunker down. Good. Uh, sniper. Maybe I'll dash the sniper here since I didn't trigger anything. Okay, good. That uh, didn't actually trigger any waves. So you can run in here. I hate all these dashes because... Um, It just creates an opportunity to get horribly murdered by something, but sometimes you gotta just run in there, and you can join the rest of the team in here. 
you gotta dash sometimes from cover to cover, and I guess it's better to dash than take partial actions but not have cover. Um, Alright, but now we don't have to dash, right? Because we can actually move up to this stuff. I'm kinda concerned about this area. I don't see anything in here, and I don't think there is gonna be anything. But still, it's a little concerning. I'm hoping that the only one left is the outsider, and that we can just arc throw the crap out of him. Um, Overwatch. I guess. Don't die. Uh, you know what? No. I should be more careful with you. I need you alive. We're just gonna move you up a little bit. Conquer down. Sniper. Overwatch. You can actually move in here. And let's overwatch. Chang can move up here. That's a dash. You know what? Screw it. Dash. And you can move up here. <laughs> One square. And overwatch. Not that there's anything coming at me. Okay, so again. It's in there. Our stuff's in there. Oh, but where? That's the question. It's, it seems like a big ship. Okay. Let's rotate this a little bit too. No, I don't like the rotation. Okay, well forget about the rotation. Forget about the whole thing. Build our own amusement parks with hookers and blackjack. You can come here and overwatch. Hendrix. Ah, it's a dash. Screw it. Sniper. Sniper, come up here. Well, actually, you know what? I'll put the sniper here, because we're going to breach that door soon. So I'm actually going to put you here so that you're ready for the door breach on the following turn. And Chan can stay where he is for now. You can stay where you are for now. And the sniper's gonna come up here so that when we do breach the door, the sniper will hopefully have a shot inside and not be completely useless. Okay. So here we go. B. No? Anyone? Anyone who wants to? There you go. And what do we have? Another door. Congratulations. Oh, well, that stinks. Again, big ship, lots going on. I don't see the outsider, that doesn't mean they're not in here. It just means that I can't see them. Um, we're gonna do the same thing, basically. We're gonna prepare to go through that door. Uh, so the sniper can stay, well, you know what, we'll move the sniper up a little. And I guess you can hunker down for now. Shazad is gonna come in here. Um, and Overwatch, you guys can stay where you are. I guess you can dash up here so that you're close, and I can move you and get a kick-ass heavy shot off if we need to, and you can run in here and take Chang's place. Maybe I should have had you move here, because you're just a little bit closer. Okay. Uh, good. It's fine. Overwatch. All right, we're going to hopefully go through this door and actually find somebody. I know the sound is in that direction, I but I, heard something. I think I have to go through the doors. Or maybe I have to go through that door. I don't know. We'll find out. And I have to cycle through all these people in order to get them to actually open the door, I think. Come on. There we go. Okay, still no aliens. I don't like this, because I don't like this open area here. I've been fooled by this before. Ah, uh, what do we do? Well, you know what? Okay. All right, let's take a look around. Let's be patient. I can move out here. This would be a dash, but not a terrible idea. But I think our sniper is best placed right here to look inside that door. 
Shazad, you're gonna come here. Chang, you're going to come here. Ooh, this is so many dashes. You know what, you're gonna come here, it's not a dash. And you can overwatch right there. You, my friend, are gonna dash all the way up here and hopefully not trigger anything, but if you do, oh well. You lived a life worth living. Uh, Walker is going to dash up here. So we'll have our rookies kind of breach, I think. That's not a rookie. That's one of our heavies, but whatever. Hendrix, you're responsible for actually capturing the damn thing. Um, and so far, we haven't triggered anything. So I will move you up right here and have you or down just in case. So you. The outsider's got to be in this in this room, right? And one of you needs to open this damn door. I don't know why I have to cycle through everybody at least once. We should make every attempt to capture one of those creatures using the arc We're gonna stop it. There doesn't seem it. to be much left when we attack outright. Stop telling me stuff. Okay. Do you can you get up next to him? No, you cannot. That stinks. Cause I need him to get right next to his freaking face. All right. Chang needs to fall back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fall back and see if we can't bait this uh, this guy to come out here. Let's hunker down. You are gonna fall back here. And hunker down. You are gonna fall back here. Or everyone's gonna fall back a little bit. So force him to actually come to us. And hunker down. You're gonna fall back even further. And hunker down. Actually, no, maybe I shouldn't have had you fall back further, but. Uh, sniper, you're gonna die if you stay there. So you're gonna come back here. And also hunker down. And you're gonna come up here. And hunker down. So now wait, now that outsider should have absolutely no shots without moving out of his cover. At least they hope. What does the outsider do? Stays behind cover. So a cheeky bastard. I hate to do this. I hate to dash you up here. Because even with full cover, I think he might be able to get you. What if I dash you? Oh, shit. No. If I can take... If I can go through that door... How do I get to that door? I have to go all the way around. Is it a smart idea? Can I go around this way without getting seen? I probably could. This might be really dumb. But if I can go around and get my unit over here, I can then take a turn to come over and dash. Uh, but that assumes that that outsider doesn't move. And also assumes that there are no more units out here. That's going to dash me right into his area. Is this... Oh, the wall's broken here, so I can't, because then he'd have a clear shot of my face. Okay, never mind. If I go through this door and go all the way around and assume that there are no other units, I could probably make it out there, but that's going to be a lot of turns. All right, we're going to try one more turn of not doing anything and seeing if we can't get him to move. You actually have a shot, 64% chance. I don't want to kill him though, in fact, and I don't want you to get hit either, so we're going to move you even further back. Hunker down. If I was trying to kill him, I'd have a great percentage to hit. You have a shot, again, trying to avoid killing him. So let's get out of... Oh no! No! Don't kill him! Okay, good. He had an overwatch. Um, and we can't run and gun 
and use the arc thrower. I've tried that in case you're wondering. So we can't actually take our running gun action to use that arc thrower, which kind of stinks. Um, yeah, I don't have a good position where I won't die. So hunker down. Keep hunkering down. Let's see if we can't get that outsider to come to us. One more time. If this, if he stay, stands still, well, we don't longer have vision in there. If he stands still, I'm thinking maybe. Oh, that's a dash. If I, okay, let's try this. Okay, you stay where you are. What's going on with you? Mr. Arc Thrower, that was a dash. Crap. So he... The Outsider has a shot on him. I don't want him to die. Do I take the chance that the Outsider will miss? He doesn't have armor. Uh, I think I might have to actually try to kill that Outsider. Screw it. He's in too crappy a position. And now you don't have a shot. Really? Okay, fine. Hunker down. When I need you to have a shot, you don't have a shot. Okay, well maybe by putting a rookie in the way. <laughs> uh, maybe by putting a rookie in the way, uh, we'll bait out the shot. Uh, you can come here. I don't think it'll do anything. Just hunker down. Chang, you can try it. If you can get the kill, I'll take it. If not, oh well. Nope, no shot from there. Alright. Well, hopefully the outsider doesn't kill our unit. No, he overwatches. That's maybe perfect. Do we have lightning reflexes? Flush. No, we have a flush shot. Ooh. Okay. I wish another unit had a flush shot so that Crap. Okay, we're just gonna go for the kill. 43% chance to hit with you. 45% chance. Let's take the 45. Shot and a miss. Okay. You know what? Well, that will definitely trigger the overwatch. But <laughs> I can't just run in there. But maybe we can flush him out. 73% chance. Alright, and it hurt him. Okay, good. This is a lot of work to capture this damn son of a bitch, but everybody else for now hunker down. Maybe. Hopefully it's worth it. He's going to come back into the ship, isn't he? Nope. He is going to destroy that cover. That's fine. See, it's not on Overwatch. I don't have great cover here if I move out here. But I do have full cover here. So if I can move out here and hunker down, maybe, just maybe. If somebody has a smoke grenade, I don't think anybody does, but if somebody did, that would be a great time for a smoke grenade, no. Okay, well, now let's take you then and move you back here, since you're gonna die. Otherwise, everybody else just uh, hunker on down. We're playing a game of cat and mouse and outsider and arc thrower, basically, uh, with this guy. Put you on Overwatch. Eventually, if this doesn't work, I want to be able to actually kill him. But I'm hoping he's going to take a shot at him. He's going to miss because he was under full cover and hunkered down. I'm hoping. Oh, that's so close. But it's not enough. What if I move you? Oh, crap. I don't know where to put him so that I can actually capture your stupid face. I don't want to put him right next to him. And again, I can't dash him. I put him here and go full cover. Can you live? 
Let's find out. This is very dangerous. I'm potentially sacrificing a very valuable unit here for not a lot of gain, I don't think. I'll take the overwatch in case... Uh, Good. He shoots at that unit. Perfect. They missed. Fantastic. Okay, now tell me you can oh, you can you not freaking get there? Is that full cover here? What's going on? That I'm having so much trouble getting to this outsider. Okay. What we'll do is move you here. Right next to his face. All right, there we go. We can stun him. Perfect. We can do it through the wall, I guess. Say good night. All right. This new Fantastic. That was a lot harder than it seemed, but hopefully we don't have to do that more than once. So we got ourselves a detainee. Hoorah! And uh, that's it. That was a successful mission. No one died. Only one person got hurt. Most importantly, we got ourselves an outsider. Is that all that's left of the Now we need an insider, to capture. and we'll be all yes. set. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? It's a big We're ass not diamond. Exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate very faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or perhaps. That's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. If what you're saying is true, this object is an antenna. One that's receiving a signal. That signal? Can we trace it? No. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. One, two, In that case, three, I will focus on constructing four, an interface between this five. object and our global communications array, which will need to trace the signal. Sounds like then it looks like research combination that an idiot would have on his luggage. Alright, we gotta interrogate the outsider basically is what that's telling me. We did get some levels up, or some units to level up. Uh, our scout here that captured that outsider adds one damage on critical hits for each enemy the squad can see. Up to five. Seems useful. Close combat specialist. Confers reaction shot against any enemy who closes to within four tiles does not require overwatch this seems really useful for chrysalids so I'm gonna take this plus he does close combat often enough and I have no idea if this will be useful because um, we will have to actually hit crits for that to work right so and you Miss Jackson have executioner confers plus 10 aim against targets with less than 50% health or opportunist eliminates the aim penalty on reaction shots and allows reaction shots to cause critical hits um, so that's our overwatches so we can have better overwatches which I think is well worth it perfect uh, nobody else leveled up I'm surprised Chang is still active and not uh, showing up as uh, injured and my rookies didn't level up unfortunately but that's okay so we've got our outsider shard and then we have floater corpses here and the outsider shard good fantastic let's uh, do some more scanning here alien nav computer should be done well let's go check research I don't even know what the research credits give me what do we have so that's the outsider shards top priority six days now we're gonna finish the alien nav computer because we're already invested into that and then we'll look into other stuff what about it's been a while since I have checked the facilities how are we doing so we've got our foundry alien containment workshop foundry that's good there's some supposedly maybe there is an adjacency bonus there we were planning on building power here and everything else looks good. I don't have any money, so I can't do much else. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. 
All right, seven days till the council report. Maybe we can get through those days without this happening. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress so Brazil, at each marked site on the hollow road. China or Mexico, uh, which already has a good amount of panic. So it seems like I should take Mexico simply because they already have a bunch of panic. It's a very difficult mission, which is kind of annoying. China, I would prefer because I want the money. And this is moderate and gives me a new lieutenant, which is meh. But, you know, if I'm, I'm going to keep them happy, I really should probably do Mexico. Yeah, I guess I should, even though it's a very difficult mission. Um, damn it. <laughs> I don't want to, but I probably should, so that way we keep people within the alliance. Let's come back to this in a sec. Let's take a look at the world, the state of affairs in the world. So, yeah, Asia is not overly panicked. Mexico is getting up there, and I want to keep North America, and I definitely need to focus on Europe so the next satellite I get is definitely going over Russia but um crap so if I take Mexico will that increase panic in all of these it shouldn't right it should only increase panic in the country that I didn't take and Brazil is perfectly fine Brazil's just chilling so yeah I guess we'll do the Mexico mission and see what happens but we're going to do that on the next video or in the next video so folks i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please leave a like it helps me out a whole bunch hit subscribe if you haven't already and as always my name's Leducium. i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate you guys tuning in and i'll see you folks next time later